It's National Cybersecurity Awareness Month, and we've put together a quick and simple list to help protect yourself online and off. This is Digital Security Life Hacks. Let's dive in. Do you use your main email address to sign up for everything? This can lead to tons of spam and put your security at risk. Instead, have two different email addresses, one for very important accounts such as your online baking, and another for social networks. Even better, if you only access a site once or twice, try using a disposable email such as 10minutemail.com. All of these things will help you never have to worry about your accounts being compromised again. Want to surf the web anonymously? You can use your browser's incognito mode for starters, but if you want to take it to the next level and go completely untraceable, try using Tor. You can grab it at torproject.org and install it in minutes. Tor sends your traffic through virtual tunnels around the world to get you anonymous and secure. Do you buy a lot of stuff online? Never opt in to store your credit card information on the server itself. You never know if the company's server will be compromised or who might have access to that data. So spend an extra bit of time when you order something to protect yourself. When using a public internet connection at a cafe, school, or anywhere really, always select the public network option to make sure you are not accidentally sharing all your private files with the rest of the users. Getting into the habit of this can save you a huge headache in the future. When setting up common security questions on many websites, you often might get asked what your favorite pet name is. Using the real names can be one of the easiest ways for a hacker to gain control of your accounts. Put in a word that only you know, and your account will be that much safer. Share carefully on your social media accounts. While it is fun to tell your friends and family about what you're up to, make sure your privacy settings are set in a way so that not just anyone can see where you've checked in or when you might be leaving your house. Following these rules of thumb will give you privacy while still keeping in touch. And finally, your home network. In some cases, just password protecting your Wi-Fi isn't enough. Try turning on Mac filtering in your router's advanced settings page. This will let you give access only to the machines you have approved, whether they have the password or not, making your network that much more secure. We would love to hear your security tips and tricks in the comments below. Let us know what little things you do to stay secure online, and if you want more life hacks like this, check out intel.com lifehacks. We'll see you next time.